Dear all, welcome to my channel Navin Velchuri. Today's video I am going to design a 2 input NAR gate. So before going to design, first of all you have to know the relations how we have to make in between the NMOS and PMOSs. All the NMOSs should be connected in parallel and PMOSs should be connected in series in the NAR relation. So that rule must be in your mind when you are going to design any boolean algebra equation by using the CMOS circuits. Here, if you observe the truth table of the two input NAR gate, it is an opposite operation of the R gate, wherever in R gate in neither one input is active, then automatically you will get the active high as an output value and for both the active also you are getting the active high, but here it is an entire opposite operation of the R. So you will get only when 0, 0 will be input condition then output is active and remaining all it will be inactive. So to design the same circuit I am going to use a DSCH tool. Now here in the basic symbols you have to take the two PMOSs. Those two PMOS transistors are connected in series. In previous videos already I have shown how the series connection will be made in between the true transistors. Always to make a series connection you have to connect source with the drain terminal of each other. Now I am taking two NMOS transistors that are connected in parallel. Here to connect the parallel connections compulsory you have to connect both equal terminals of two transistors that means source of one NMOS is connected with source of another NMOS and drain of one NMOS is connected with drain of another NMOS and to represent the inputs I am taking the two inputs and on uh, ground terminal will be connected with the source of NMOS and supply will be connected with the source of PMOS. Now I am connecting the input combinations to the two PMOS and now these two inputs are connected as a pair of NMOS so I am connecting these connections and you have to connect to both PMOS transistors are in series so I am taking a line by using that line I am connecting and VDD is connected with the source of PMOS and now the parallel combination of NMOS is connected and ground is connected with the source of NMOS. Now both PMOS, NMOS and transistors are connected together. From there you will take the output value. Now I am connecting both the input pairs of NMOS and PMOS by using a metal line. Now to get the output value take an LED and that LED is connected in between the combination of PMOS transistors and MOS transistors connected line. To that line we are going to connect an LED to verify the output functionality of a two input NAR gate. So I am changing the labels of inputs as A and B. Tunnel width and length of a particular transistor and I am showing the terminals also clearly to observe that if we made the correct combination of PMOS in the series connection for that verification we will verify the all the terminals. Similarly for NMOS also I am showing the all terminal names and its values width of length and values we are represented here. Now this is the circuit of two input NAR gate. Now before going to save of all you have to select in which nanometer you are going to design. So I am selecting a CMOS a 45 nanometer technology after that go for the saving of your uh, designed circuit in your respective folder by electing the save as option saved with an extension of dot sch which represents the schematic circuit then you have to generate a verilog file that Verilog file con contains Verilog code and its hierarchy netlist values and then you have to generate a symbol to represent entire circuit 
which is called as a logic symbol that will be generated and same thing will be saved in your respective folder so it will be saved with a dot extension as in a dot svm symbol file after saving these all three go for simulation for that select a simulate option here which is available in that simulate take the truth table icon in that run the logic simulation then you will get the output value after completion of that extract the truth table to get the uh, nor gate operation here it is giving a clear output uh, which gives the both active inputs output is zero and any one of the active input output is zero and for only inactive inputs output is active high so this is the operation of a two input nor gate circuit